Episode 2, The Monstrous Turnabout. Welcome back, everyone. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> Nine tails! Long, long ago, the nine-tailed fox defeated the evil Tenmataro and sealed the fallen demon away. Hell yeah. To this day, it is said that he slumbers even still within the forbidden chamber. Nice balls. Oh, what's up, Colonel? Whoa. Night, night, Alderman. Sweet dreams. What the? That seemed a little lag. At long last, what? the revival of Tenmataro is at hand. How about hello? Who the hell was that? What the hell just happened? A few months prior to the courthouse bombing, oh, we're going back in time. Well, look at Apollo on the screen too. Oh, hell yeah, dudes. Here we are. April 17th, okay. The right anything agency. Here we are. Huh, guess I'm a little early. Oh, hey Apollo! Getting an early start today? <gasps> Trucy! Girl, how are you doing? How's your hat? How's your underwear? I mean, I, I have to ask the question. <laughs> yeah, this is the first job I've had in a while after all. Well, aren't we all fired up? Well, it's not every day I get a call from Mr. Wright. What kind of work is it anyway? Mr. Wright didn't mention any details. Work? Is that how he put it? Don't tell me he just wants me to clean the toilet again. Oh no. Oh, rip. You've really become a fixture around here, Apollo. Come to think of it, it's been almost a year since I was hired. A lot's happened since then. But I've settled in nicely despite a few bumps in the road. Man, good for the- Oh man! My name is Apollo Justice. I've been practicing law for about a year, but I still have a lot to learn. Is this gonna be- is this actually gonna be an Apollo episode? Oh my god, hell yes, I'm ready for this. This is the Right Anything Agency, and it's where I work. Don't let the name fool you, it's definitely a law agency. But don't forget that this place is a talent agency too, Polly! Oh, it's the law agency part of this office that's usually forgotten. This is Trucy Wright, a budding magician. An adopted daughter of the agency's owner, Phoenix Wright. Hell yeah, we know the truth about her though, don't we? We know the real deal of the family history here because we played the game. She sometimes makes me help her with magic tricks. And what's wrong with that? You're one of the agency's talents as well. I was under the impression that I was a lawyer. Listen, we both? Oh, we better hurry. It doesn't look like... Dad, I think they're supposed to say like there. It doesn't look like daddy's gonna make it, so let's get going. Huh? Where are we going? What about the job he mentioned? This is the job, Polly. You're supposed to keep me company today. Now come on! Another day of not being a lawyer? Should have seen this coming. Listen, it's hard work. Well, this is the right anything agency, you know? And there's no law related work at the moment, so. Tell me again why I chose to work here? You didn't really have a choice, it was a family thing, I'm assuming. <laughs> Where is Mr. Wright, anyway? Daddy said something about going to meet an acquaintance. But don't worry, just focus on your job and I'll tell you exactly what you need to know. Is it gonna be with those two? Oh my god! <gasps> I did not expect this. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Well, let's go, we don't have all day. Let's go indeed. Wait a second! Oh. And another day of anything goes begins at the right anything agency. It'll be okay, Apollo. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. Meanwhile. Nine Tails Vale. Yokai Lane. Oh my goodness, what we're gonna have we're gonna go see some yokais? Get the watch. You need it to catch them. Oh look at this! 
Oh, it's like a little tourist village. It's so cute. Oh, so what are we doing way up here in the mountains? This is Nine Tails Vale. Everyone's been talking about the yokai craze here. Yokai? Oh, you mean Japanese monsters. I guess that explains all these weird things. Speaking of which, wasn't Nine Tails Vale founded by Japanese immigrants? Yeah, they're holding a festival to boost tourism over at the Alderman's Manor. My friend who works there invited us. That's why we're here. In other words, I'm your chaperone because your dad was too busy. Uh, isn't chaperone misspelled? Doesn't it need an E at the end? No? I don't know if there's two ways to spell it. Daddy said that with those horns of yours, you'd make a great addition to their festival. Uh, I mean, you look just like a Japanese demon. Wasn't that the thoughtful of him, Polly? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I could do without thoughtfulness like that. Oh, it's almost time. Come on, Polly. The festival grounds are this way. All right, I guess it's time to move to the QB Manor Garden. I gotcha, don't worry. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, cool, so like here we are again, but uh, we can just talk, you know I'm gonna do it. The monster craze, tell me about it. This is so much different. The monster craze, come to think of it, I think I heard about it on TV. It's supposedly how Ninetales Vale made a comeback from the brink of fiscal disaster. Huh. Our agency could sure use something positive like that. Oh, I know. Let's jump on board the monster craze. You and Daddy would be perfect comedy duo. You could call yourselves Agni and Rudra, demon kings of comedy. Daddy sets them up, and you knock them down. Hey, I think we hit the jackpot with this idea. Uh, sorry, but I plan on staying a lawyer. You do? You don't have to act so surprised by that. Oh my god, why is she so cute? Ew, it's ridiculous. I I think I know what to do. Oh, I, people are probably going to get mad that I didn't pick that, but whatever. All right, uh, let's go to the garden. This is cute. Oh, the birds. It's very peaceful. Oh, look at this. It's very nice. Hubie Manor. The garden. Okay. Wow, this place is really something. It definitely feels like a different world here. Trucy? Who's that? Oh, hello. What's up? Jinxie! You know, what's up, Handmaid's Tale? How you doing? And this is? She's so cute and very sad looking. Well, you know, maybe she's just having a bad day at work. My friend, Jinxie Tenma, she's the one who invited us. She just happens to be the maid here. Oh, that's all right. Are you scared? Are you shy? I can relate. Two horns, a love of red. Are you a demon? No, <laughs> I'm Apollo Justice. Nice to meet you. <gasps> he is a demon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait a minute. Personal space. Hello? What the? Be gone, foul beast. <laughs> you look great, Polly. It fills in some of that space on your forehead. Wow. You know, I don't have to take this. I could just leave. Apollo, Don't. you don't have to take this crap. Ugh. What is this thing? It's a warning charm. Jinxie puts them on all the monsters she finds. Uh, but I'm not a monster. Maybe I should have told her you're a good demon. Or you could just say I'm human. Oh my god, look at Trucy! She's so cute. You're a demon. Emissary of the underworld. Okay, ma'am, this, this ain't Bible Black. You can just relax, alright? got up early to do my hair for this? Oh my god. You know that Apollo gets up early and does his hair. Now we have confirmation of it. Uh, can I take this off now? So you can eat me? Whoa, whoa. I'm Honestly, I've just met you. I could not possibly make that choice right now. Give me about 10 minutes. Oh, forgive me. A terrible one. Oh, she ran off. What the heck? Tone down your cords of steel, Apollo. You're scaring her out of her wits. Apollo does have a loud, booming voice, right? I think that's the thing. Oh, don't worry. I'm already full. Please stay that way. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, was that a euphemism? Great. Now I'm playing along, too. It's fine. I'm still not sure what kind of voice she would have, but she definitely looks a little, like, on the, you know, the stoic morose side, so she gets a stoic morose voice because I said so. Hello, my dear. Can I talk to you without you freaking out? I do like your outfits, charming. Um, 
So I wanted to ask you about Ninetales Vale. Uh, oh. <laughs> Gone. Foul demon. Uh, Ma'am? We're not gonna get very far like this, are we? Oh, it looks like you've been demonized, Polly. Literally. I'm starting to wonder if I really am a demon myself. Um... Uh, please don't eat me. I, I, I have food if you're hungry. This isn't working. We won't get anything out of her until we set the record straight. Oh... If only we had some way to prove that you're not as scary as you look. What do you mean? Apollo doesn't look scary. What are you talking about? He's like one of the most mild-looking people in the Ace Attorney franchise. <laughs> he looks so normal compared to like how many other people that we've seen that don't... What do you mean? <clears throat> Ouch, unnecessary roughness. Looks like I have to present some proof. Oh my god, I know exactly what. Proof that I'm 100% human. You guys know. My time has come. My time has come, y'all. We... Do we have to back up? Yeah, we do. We have to get this right here. Get Guys, the first one, and it's not Phoenix, but that's okay. Look at this badge. Um... I wanted to show you this. <gasps> what is it? It's my attorney's badge. Y you see? I'm not a demon. I'm a lawyer. Really? You're a lawyer? Whew. Maybe now she'll stop calling me a demon. Maybe that's her thing. Does it protect you from Enmadayo's judgment? Who's Enmadayo? Yeah, who's that? I read somewhere that he's the demon lord who punishes the dead for their sins. Uh-oh! I think she now thinks that you're a demon lawyer from hell, Polly! Can I go back to being a normal demon? This is silly! Please, please don't boil me in a scalding cauldron. I I'd prefer a Turkish bath, if possible. A Turkish bath? Isn't that more sauna than bath? Don't worry, Jinxie. He's a good demon. He'll save you if you ever go astray. Ugh! Please, Mr. Demon Lawyer, sir, have mercy on my soul. You know what? I should give her like a, a sort of toko voice. I'm, I'm feeling that. So not all the way, of course, but I'm going to give her a little bit of what I think. Ugh, I told you I'm not a demon. And Trissy, you're just making it worse. <laughs> what, did you just get slapped? Well, this is a hell of a day for me. Oh, uh, you just leave that Emma Dio to me. Isn't that great, Jinxie? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm no longer scared to cross into the afterlife. Will someone tell these two I'm human already? I don't get it. I mean, I get he's got the horns on his head, but like, come on, you know, it's just hair. Girl, it's hair. <laughs> Will you talk to me about this now? This is so silly. So, Jinxie, I hear this village is the epicenter of the monster craze. Uh-huh. But barely anyone's even heard of it before, but now it's packed with tourists. Really? So the monster craze is the reason behind today's festival? It was the alderman's idea, but I'd be careful if I were you. There are lots and lots of yokai prowling around Ninetales Vale. Just give me a second while she hides behind the plate. I'm gonna sip. My voice is just, mm, -mm. I do apologize. <clears throat> I've done everything I can and it's just not up to speed. It's gonna take a while for it to get better. Prowling about? You mean, like, wild animals or something? Uh-huh. And they're hungry, too. Man-eating monsters? And they're all over the place? Uh-huh. In fact, there was one at the manor yesterday. I heard the doorbell ring, but when I opened the door, nobody was there. It was... It was the ding-dong demon! <laughs> Wait, what? The what? Girl, I've been visited by that before myself. What are you talking about? How, how else could you explain it? Um, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I gotta change my Twitter name to the Ding Dong Demon. You know, I just got it back to normal, too. And then this happens. Well, when I was a kid, my friends used to play this prank called Ding Dong Ditch. Well, that doesn't prove yokai aren't real. There's even one here at the manor. The Demon Tenmataro. He's imprisoned in the Forbidden Chamber. Tenma... Taro? The Forbidden Chamber? What's that about, then? Are you sure about this, ma'am? I think maybe you just need a little lie down or something. Like, goodness me. 
You're awful jittery. Have a seat. Have a seat. Like, have some water, maybe? Oh my goodness. Uh, about that yokai you said was imprisoned here at the manor. Is it true? Uh-huh. He's a super evil demon called Tenmataro. Here, look at this scroll. Let's see. Well, there's nine tails. Tenmataro is the dark demon you see here, and he's super evil and super scary. So that's the yokai imprisoned in the Forbidden Chamber? Uh-huh. He was defeated by the village guardian yokai, the nine-tailed fox, and locked away forever. So, you're saying Tenmataro is still trapped inside the Forbidden Chamber? Uh-huh, but he's just biding his time until he can escape. Still, we should be perfectly safe. Because there's a really powerful ceiling charm on the door keeping it shut tight. What a charming security system. Haha, uh -huh, I get it, it was a pun. But <laughs> you can keep the scroll if you want. Really? Oh, thanks. The alderman gave me this, but just holding it gives me the chills, so... Uh-uh. Thanks, Jinxie. Maybe I'll give this to Mr. Wright. Yeah, it's pretty. Yokai Legend Scroll. A scroll depicting the demon Tenma Taro and the nine-tailed fox. Okay. Girl, well, are you gonna be alright? So, I was wondering... Are those things on your forehead also warding charms, Jinxie? Yes. They're to prevent evil things from getting inside me. <coughs> Oh. Oh. Yeah, no comment. Nah, I don't think I could make a comment about that. That isn't disgusting. Papa told me to wear them. Evil things? Apollo, don't you dare take those charms off her forehead. They have to stay there. Forever! Got it? I wasn't gonna... It's not like I was gonna reach out and touch her or anything. I mean, that's a little bit creepy, right? I wonder what would happen if I took them off... <laughs> Wait a minute, stop. <laughs> all these, all these fucking screenshots. Oh, Jesus. We're never gonna get out from under it. Not ever. It's time for me to get back to work. Okay, bye, girl. Thanks for inviting us, Jinxie. Y you're welcome. Oh, and before I forget, there's going to be a surprise event today. Even I don't know what to expect, but it's sure to be fun. Better not be a yokai parade. She'd probably drop dead from fright. Imagine working here and being scared of them. Huh? Ah! Whoa. Oh, hello. Ah! Demon! Oh, wait. It's just someone in a suit. Uh, uh, right? Tenma Tataro! Tenma Taro? The demon from the Forbidden Chamber? Ah! Please don't hurt me! Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! Yes. Better watch out, little girl, or I'll snatch you away. <gasps> charm, 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 charm! Where's that dying go to heaven charm? Oh, she put it on her own forehead this time. <laughs> she sure gives up quick. Huh? Why is everyone hiding their faces? Hey, you there? You mustn't stare at Tenmataro like that. Lower your eyes. He'll steal your soul if you're not careful. Huh? Steal my soul? What, seriously? Whoa, 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 what the hell is happening? There's a lot going on at once. Your devil here stops here and now, Tenmataro. Now what? Look, Apollo, there's somebody up on the roof. Who is it? What's that? Ah, ha, 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 I have no idea who that is. That booming laugh, could it be? My nine golden tails are proof of my unassailable righteousness. With my band of a hundred minions, I vanquish evil from the land. I am the wrestler of righteousness. I am the... Oh my... <laughs> Wait, he's an actual wrestler? What? What's happening here? <laughs> he's like, just totally jacked. The golden lord of yokai, the amazing nine tails is here. Fear not, good little boys and girls, for I shall defeat Tenmataro. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! It's the amazing Nine Tails! Up to your no good tricks again, eh? Tenmataro will not on my watch. Ah, oh, Pog! <laughs> There's nothing to fear now, my child. I've banished Tenmataro. You and your people can now live in peace. 
thank you, Mr. Amazing Ninetail, sir. Now I must be off another match and another foe to vanquish await. What in the world? Goodness me. W what was that all about? Did that wrestler just chase off a yokai? Looked like he came out of the Alderman's Manor. Uh, th that was the Amazing Ninetales! He's a pro wrestler from right here in Ninetales Vale. But no one knows his true identity. Really? He's from here, but no one could figure out that the probably one person that's jacked that big isn't him. Okay. Listen, I don't know. We'll have to see what it comes out to, but really? Jinx is her seems chipper all of a sudden. She is? How can you tell? <laughs> What was all that about him banishing Tenma Taro? Uh, that was a yokai exorcism. Uh, it's an annual ritual where Tenma Taro is released to remind us of his wickedness. In the end, the Nine-Tailed Fox drives Tenma Taro out and purifies our village. But the amazing Nine-Tails did the honors this year. So that was the big surprise, huh? The amazing Nine-Tails and Tenma Taro, huh? Well, whatever floats your boat. Oh. Would you look at the time? I, I'd better get back to work. Please excuse me. Bye. It was it was something meeting you. She's a strange one, all right. I think she's sweet in her own special way. Trucy, I think you think everybody's good. Knowing Trucy, she probably has a lot of friends who are sweet in their own way. Well, we still have some time to kill. Might as well see the rest of Nine Tails Bill while we're here. The fun never stops, does it? Listen, I mean, you are here. Oh, yeah, festival. Yo, get me a corn dog. Get me some cotton candy. All right, we're, we're okay. Appara <laughs> apparently, we're still here. I was like, wait, is it going to switch? No, we're still here. I think I bought nearly every yokai souvenir that was for sale. I know, because my wallet's running on empty. What? You don't have your own money? You and you're a magician. Can't you just conjure some up? Huh? What's with all that commotion over there? Huh? Hey, isn't that your friend Jinxie? I hope everything's okay. <laughs> this is terrible! <laughs> Calm down, Jinxie. Tell us what happened. The <laughs> demon Zenma Taro. He killed Alderman QB. What? Wait! Killed isn't dead? Yes, and Tenmataro did it. Tenmataro? You stay here while I go have a look. Please, wait. Huh? Ah! It's a, a Tenmataro warning charm. It should protect you, but please, be careful. The Alderman's in the Fox Chamber at the top of the main staircase. Okay, got it. How it moves when he talks. Oh, Jesus. Tenma Tara Warding Charm. The Tenma Tara Warding Charm that Jinxie gave me when I set out for the scene of the crime will cut. Alright, let's go. Well, I was just waiting for something bad to happen, because, like, seriously, you can't have, like, a vacation anywhere without something bad happening here. In these games, I mean, is you know, that's what I meant. You guys know what I meant. Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa! Oh no, the Colonel! Oh no, Edelbeads Man! Oh no, 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 he's okay. Maybe? Are you alright? Who are you? Help! Someone call an ambulance! Oh my goodness. Whoa. Police arrived soon after that, at which point I returned to the festival grounds. Apparently, the man impaled by the spear was already dead. But there was one other person there, and he was immediately rushed to the hospital. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Oh, thank goodness the other man's going to be fine. Sound like he'll leave it unconscious. You think Jinxie's gonna be okay? Well, I'm sure she'll be back to her old self in no time. At least she's calm enough for the police to question her for now. And I'd sure love to know what crazy animal left those feathers and tracks. Oh, look, here comes Jinxie. 
All right, girl. Hi, Trucy. Hi, Mr. Demon Lawyer. Hey, feeling any better? I was wondering if you're up to filling us in on what happened. All right, girl. Oh my goodness, she's probably not. About what happened, all right, tell me. So, the man with the spear in his chest was already dead? Uh-huh, it was Alderman Kyuubi. When I found him, he was already... So the victim was the village alderman. And the one who was found alive, who was he? Damien Tenma. He's the mayor of the neighboring city, Tenma Town. Oh, well, that's a coincidence. They arrested him? So, he's the killer? Uh, uh, no! Papa didn't kill anyone! Oh, that's your dad? Oops. Well, I'm sorry, but now he's Analbee's man because, um... I'm 12. Papa, as in your father? I guess I see the resemblance. That's right. Jinxie's dad is mayor of Tenma Town. No way! Uh, yes, way, but he's innocent. It's just got way more complicated. I'll say. The victim was the alderman of Ninetales Vale. And Jinxie's father, the mayor of Tenma Town, was arrested for the crime? Sounds like we have some investigating to do. Sure does. I know this is difficult, Jinxie, but you need to hang in there. I, I know. I'll try my best. Would you mind telling me a little more about the victim? Yeah, tell me about- I mean, tell me about everything, because honestly, we don't know. So the victim was the village alderman? What can you tell me about him? Well, his name was Rex Kyuubi. They say his family has ties to the legendary Ninetale Fox. He was really kind, and he always looked out for me. He was a former pro wrestler, and, and I even heard he knew the amazing Ninetales. Former pro wrestler, huh? I mean, he did look kind of jacked. That's something to keep in mind. With your father being mayor and all, I guess you're originally from Tenma Town, huh? So why did you come to work here? That's a good question. You must overcome your fear, right, Jinxie? Uh-huh. Plus, Mama was from Ninetales Vale, and though she's no longer with us, she loved these flowers. I always wanted to live where Ninetales flowers grew. Wow, what a beautiful flower, and with exactly nine petals, too. Uh, just looking at them gives me courage, e even when I'm scared of yokai. Ninetales Flower. A flower found only in Ninetales Vale. It boosts Jinx's courage because it was her mother's favorite. Oh, that's sweet. Jinxie, when you first told us what happened, you said the killer was a demon? Uh-huh. Uh, the warning charm on the Forbidden Chamber's door. It's been removed. The Forbidden Chamber's door? That big door that was barred shut? There wasn't a charm on it when I checked it out, so I guess it was removed by someone? That's strange. Uh, that's how Temataro escaped! Ooh. When, when I try and remember what happened, it, it all goes fuzzy. That's okay. Jinxie, you should get some rest. You've been through a lot today. Between the warding charm being removed and the... Black feathers and weird tracks? I could see how a superstitious person might think a demon was the killer. Apollo, maybe this is your chance. Chance for what? To do the right thing and defend Jinxie's dad in court. But me? Wouldn't a man like Mayor Tenma have access to more experienced lawyers? Uh, y you want to know what the detective said? They doubted there was a lawyer who could get a not guilty verdict in this one. Sounds like they're expecting an open and shut case. Don't worry, Jinxie. If anyone can prove your dad's innocence, it's Polly. Wait, 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 wait. Don't sign me up for anything. What? You'll accept the case, won't you, Polly? Oh my god, really, dude? You're calling me out now, putting me on blast? Ooh, it's all over, isn't it? I'll, I'll be all alone for the rest of my life. Oh, right. Jinxie already lost her mother. Oh, all right. Jinxie, leave your father's defense to me. Attaboy, Polly. You're 
you're gonna help Papa, Mr. Demon Lawyer? Yep, because that's what lawyers do. Plus, no toilet cleaning for a while. This music, though. Oh my, oh, it's funky. Yeah, I like the synth, it's good. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure your father walks away a free man. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Demon Lawyer. Uh, I can tell you're one of the good ones. Red demons are usually so mean. It's been a while, but I'll be fine. Ready or not, here comes justice. Guess I ought to go and meet my new client. Uh, before I forget, better jot this down in my notebook. Hey, Apollo, what's the notebook for? Oh, I, I just thought I should jot down some stuff about the case. So I don't misplace them, I'm putting my notes in the court record. Oh, good idea. I guess it's what you would call a to-do list. Oh, sounds handy. To read my notes, just open the court record with R. And I can switch between the tabs using L and R. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. So, about Jinxie's father. No matter how scary he seems, promise me you'll resist the urge to run away. Wait, what? What's so bad? I mean, yeah, he's got anal beads on him, whatever. I'm not here to kink shame people, I'm here to help. His angry glare can paralyze you with fear. Listen, we've seen a lot of people like that in this series. I should be all right. And some claim he can even shoot laser beams from his eyes. What, really? That's kind of cool. Well, maybe Papa isn't really that scary. A paralyzing stare? Laser beams from his eyes? He sounds like some kind of monster. Mm, I think it's about time I see Jinxie off. I'll head back to the office after I'm done. Okay, thanks. Oh, you're not gonna stay and help me, Trucy? Okay, fine. <laughs> well, Jesus! Just got nothing. All right, fine. So if we're gonna go talk to the dude, he's either in the hospital or the... Oh, they did say he was arrested, so a detention center it is. Oh my God, we're back in here. Hey, guard, how is your face? How's your how's your little walkie-talkie doing today? Man, it's been a while since I've seen this. Oh, visiting hours. Perfect timing. Hope he's not as scary as he sounds. Whoa, 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 what the... Okay. Man, he looks like a dude from Food Wars. <laughs> All right, Mr. Anal Beads, I, I got, oh, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> oh my God. Between the anal beads and your little pom-pom nipples, I could, man, I've got a lot to talk about, but let's, let's just, let's get serious. Oh God, what kind of voice for him, hmm. Who are you? Yikes, you're Damien Tenma, right? I'm a, uh, I'm Apollo Justice, attorney at law. I'm here to, uh, I'm here to help. Huh? Oh, uh, let me out of here! Sorry, sorry, I, I get a little loud sometimes. How incredibly rude! Uh, sorry, did I do something to offend you? A visitor when all others shun me like a common criminal? And here I am with nothing to offer? I am the epitome of rude! Oh, he's rude! Oh, is he a nice guy? Wait, so he wasn't mad at me? Unworthy as I am, I, Damien Ten, must help reach these walls. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Oh. So that I may treat my benefactor to some tea and maybe some cookies too. Ain't no beats man is a good man? No, wait, we can do tea and cookies after we prove your innocence. How about you start by telling me what happened? Hmm, I see. So tea and cookies can wait, can they? Oh, that was close. We don't need a jailbreak added to the list of charges. Seems like a good guy, but with a face like that, I can see why he's misunderstood. Yeah, me too. Oh my goodness me. All right, let's do it. Reason for arrest. Let's talk about it. Mayor Tenma, do you mind if I ask why you were arrested? Uh, is that is that you minding? Whoa, 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 okay. Whoa. Sorry, I guess some things are better left unsaid. <sighs> Excuse me? To think a public paragon such as I could be treated like this? This arrest should never have happened. Go on. I fear the ill effects it will have on our youth. Now I've but one choice. I must leave here at once, if only to protect the moral fiber of our youth. That, you're concerned about that, are you? No, 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 wait. You can protect the moral fiber of our youth after you've been declared not guilty. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Oh, our youth just came this close to quite a scare. 
My fingerprints were on the spear that killed Alderman QB. That's why I was arrested. Your prints were on the murder weapon? That's never good. Any idea how they got there? None. For I hardly remember a thing you see. I was fast asleep at the time. Someone must have slipped me a sleeping pill or something. What's worse, someone clobbered me on the head. I see. A drug-induced slumber and a blow to the head? No wonder you hardly remember a thing. He's got all those, like, he's got, like, a hat on, but it's, like, made of, like, warding charms. Ho. Oh. Excuse me? Was that some kind of strange laugh? Well, I think we can safely assume your prints were planted while you were unconscious. Right, is there any kind of motive we need to know about here? Oh, God. What did the police have on you as far as the motive is concerned? Truth be told, there's been a bit of trouble between the Alderman and I, as of late. Oh? Was it personal in nature? Nothing like that. It's a long story. Oh, they dated, I understand. But suffice to say, I've been pushing to merge Ninetales Vale with Tenma Town. Oh, I see. Surrender Ninetales Vale to Tenma Town now! <laughs> That's what I told him. I'd like to tell you to stop shouting like that, but I'm too scared. So, uh, that's the motive the police have established for the Alderman's murder? Indeed, it is. After all, Alderman Kyuubi was dead set against a municipal merger. And that's why they think you killed him? He was in your way? <sighs> Curses! Uh, uh, Miss Mayor Tenma, are you okay? Jinxie, forgive me! I never meant to worry you like this. It'll work out fine. Leave it to me. If only it really were that easy. I don't even know where to start. I'm sure we can figure out something. Thank you for meeting with me, Mayor Tenma. Please, wait. My daughter, Jinxie. Yes? She... She already lost her mother. And now, with me being held here, I fear she'll be terribly lonely. I hesitate to ask, but... I, I beg you, be a friend to her in her time of need. Yeah, I will. Leave it to me. Trissy and I will look out for your daughter. I shall rest a little easier then. You know, you remind me of some of the new friends Jinxie has been talking about. New friends? Yes, it seems she's made some new friends since she started working in Ninetales Vale. They're quite the unusual bunch too. There's a lady with an exceptionally long neck, a young lad with an incredibly long tongue, and many- what? I beg your pardon? What, like the band members of KISS? <laughs> Friends? Sounds like a bunch of monsters to me. Now if you would excuse me, it appears my time is up. Alright, see you crazy man. Oh my goodness, okay. Why am I so tired? I must have been more tense than I thought. Still, I'm glad he didn't turn out to be as scary as he looks. Oh, is that our little phone? A call? Oh, it's Mr. Wright. Justice here. Apollo, is that you? Hi, Mr. Wright. What can I do for you? Trucy told me you've taken on a new case. Oh, that. It was kind of spur of the moment. He's actually calling me about a case? That's fine, but I have a favor to ask. Sure. What is it? I'm at the airport right now. There was someone I had to meet. A new addition to the agency, actually. Her name's Athena Sykes, and she just passed the bar. That's right. I remember hearing about her coming to join us. Yes, that was today. Uh, she took off as soon as I told her you needed help with a case. Oh, Athena's coming? It was like there was no stopping her. Wait, what? Where is she now? Well, probably somewhere in Ninetales Vale by now. That's where that favor I mentioned comes in. I need you to go find her. But I've never even met her before. What does she look like? She'll be the girl in the yellow suit sporting an attorney's badge. Okay, I'll find her. Aw, oh, Pog, we get to go meet her. A new addition to the agency? Well, I'd better get back to Ninetalesville quick. Well, we're on our way, but I think, you know what? I think we're gonna go move to Ninetalesville in the next one, and we'll go meet Athena for the first time. I bet that'll be fun and not awkward or weird at all. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I'll see you soon, as always, in the next episode. Toodaloo!